hello you guys welcome back to my channel today's vlog is a little bit different i'm not holding the camera i'm standing in front of the camera but today i want to tackle a project i've been putting off for a couple weeks two to three weeks now which is making my own cushion covers for my couch back cushions yay so i actually bought this fabric maybe about three weeks ago it's really heavy it's taking up so much space in my room i did a massive house clean and essentially everything is looking great except i have this massive pile of fabric that's just waiting to be turned into something so i figured you know what i've already dedicated so much of this day to cleaning and organizing and making the house look nice i might as well just get this out of the way and over and done with and you may be wondering wow diy cushion covers how's that gonna work i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so i kind of know how to sew but i also don't know how to sew but i have a sewing machine and from what i can gather from all the sewing i've ever done this should technically be really really easy um i'm not going to do any zippers i'm not going to do any buttons i might do velcro later on but essentially the idea of what i want to do is i want to do the cushion covers that kind of like are like pillowcases when they have that inner like flap to keep it in place you know i don't know so we're gonna try to tackle this today and let me show you what i'm working with also do make sure to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell if you like vlog style videos i upload weekly vlogs on this channel also catch me on my instagram account i'm there every single day posting what i'm getting up to and also aesthetic skincare related content it ended up being such a beautiful day it was gross and raining all day and look at that bluish teal green water how stunning like wow i feel like it hasn't looked this pretty in so long so this is what i'm working with i already have a couch cover that i put on but my couch is a lot bigger and more cushiony than standard l-shaped couches it was actually a really expensive couch i think it came up to a total of three grand when we originally got it so the couch cover doesn't perfectly fit which is why the back cushions are not included in it but that's okay it's going to make the process way easier so essentially i have four cushions to do i have three back ones that are the exact same measurements and then i have another back one over here that is longer i bought I think eight yards of this fabric. I originally wanted to do the Sherpa Teddy style fabric that everyone's obsessed with this year because it's trendy and fun and because they're cushion covers, it's really easy to just like change your mind and swap them out. But it was sold out at every fabric store in Toronto. So I settled on this fabric right here. It's a little bit hard to see. The color is pretty much exactly the same as the cushion, or not cushion, couch cover that I already got. And the texture is, it's soft, but it's not too soft. And I wanted something that was a little bit rough so that like it just wouldn't, I don't know so it wouldn't like look bad faster i don't know but this was like the best that i could find and i hope it turns out well like it's soft i don't know and it feels like it would be easy to clean like it's like slick almost but then like has resistance i don't know so let's try to figure this out so i have my first sheet of fabric laid out this is the smallest piece that i have and the woman at the fabric store said I should be able to do it really simply where I just wrap the pillow around um, based on the size that my cushions are. Yeah, so that should work. <laughs> I hope I end up having enough fabric. Like, this is expensive. Alright, so it should work. <laughs> I just have to mark it and pin it. Wait, yeah, because you have to do it inside out like you're wrapping a present. So. I want the hem or the seam to be inside, so I need to sew it with my outside. I feel like anyone that like sews on a professional level is going to be cringing so hard right now, but I'm trying my best. So basically I want this one flap like that oh wait shoot no will that work if it's inside out oh my gosh <laughs> i don't know 
I don't know, wait, since I'm sewing it inside out. Yeah, that should work. Either way, I'll just leave like a bit overlapping so that if I want, I can get Velcro because I don't want to do zippers. That's way advanced. I can't. Okay, so I mean, what I'll do is I'll pin these flaps together and then trim off any excess fabric. And then measure it the other side, yeah. So I just pinned the first side and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brown eyeliner and just mark like half an inch or a few centimeters after the pins for my sew line, which gives me a little bit of wiggle room as well in case I float out of the range that I want. Cut and pinned everything, and you can see I should be able to just open it up and pull it out. Um, a little bit nervous that I might not be able to. Um, so anyway, I have this extra flap that's a bit too much. So I'm just going to trim it so it's like almost at the base of the pillow. Just in one line. but so that it still covers the other flap. <laughs> okay, so moment of truth. Let's try to remove, oh my God. Cause like the fabric I got's a little bit grippy. Oh wait, no, it's working. I hope the pins don't come undone. <laughs> It's really grippy. Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. Please, please. Alright, so if my basic knowledge of sewing is correct, I should simply be able to sew this, sew the hem or the seam and it that will literally be it. <laughs> like sew right along my my little dotted line area. My battery my camera battery died so I already finished sewing one seam really roughly. I don't really care too much about how the seam is, but I'm just gonna do the other side now. Again, like super like casually. And if anyone's wondering, not that I know what I'm doing, but I have my pattern set to two and my length set to three. And then there's this dial here. I don't know what it means. Would you believe me if I said I took home ec where they teach you sewing and I forgot absolutely everything I learned? <laughs> Forgot to backstitch that one. Oh well, I'll just tie a few knots. All right, so I just flipped it inside out. So the side of the fabric that's the good side is now on the outside. The sewn seam, oh my God, a needle. <laughs> the sewn seam is on the inside and now we got little pocket. I hope there's no more needles in here. It's just, can you not? So that is what it looks like and 
based on my simple theory of simple sewing, I should just be able to shove the cushion right on in. Hopefully I gave it enough wiggle room, oh my gosh. Did it work? Oh my God, I think it did. I think we did it. Ah, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow, so easy. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, never buy online again. Just go to a fabric store, get a sewing machine. You could even probably do this by hand, but it's gonna take like way longer. Wow, let's put this on the couch and see what it looks like. And then I have to repeat this process uh, three more times. <laughs> Oh no, it's more white than the actual cover. Dang. Uh, I thought it was more like not as white, but that's okay, whatever. I mean, who knows? If I end up for some reason having extra fabric, maybe I can do the actual sitting cushions of the couch, but whatever, it looks so much better than gray. Eee, that's so exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wash them before I actually use them on the couch just because, you know, they were in a fabric store with people touching it, like dust, chemicals are on fabric and whatnot, but that was so easy. <laughs> there it is. The cushion covers are all done. As you can see though, the white does not match, which really kind of sucks a lot, but well, that is that. It looks a lot better overall compared to the gray. Everything matches as much as possible, and now it'll make it easy to clean because Flynn likes to sleep here now, so if the couch does get dirty or have a lot of cat hair on it, I can just take the covers off easy peasy and throw them in the wash i'm so surprised at how easy this was i think velcro is needed on some of them because they don't close nicely but like it's always at the back so it's fine i have a ton of fabric so i i don't think i'll be able to do the cushion covers like all of them like i get the feeling i'd be able to do like the big one and that's it like this big l part and then not those two so i'm not too sure if i'll try to tackle it because i i really do have a lot left over i think the lady like when i bought it i originally just wanted the back cushions but i think the woman gave me like sold me for the entire couch so i might be able to do them i might i don't know maybe not today though this overall took me two out yeah see he's getting in his spot he loves to sleep there now so <laughs> yeah it's your new favorite spot to sleep so that's another reason why I wanted to make couch covers so that when that gets dirty from a boy, I can clean it. And yeah, it's just nice having a, a white couch to match. Today is a super sleepy day for me. I'm so sore from our 10 kilometer walk we did yesterday. But anyway, Honey Boy and I are newly addicted to butter chicken roti. We had it for the first time uh, earlier in the week. Wait, was it literally on Friday? I don't know, either way. We had it a few days ago and we've become obsessed. So we ordered it again today and I'm so excited. David Attenborough. It's another Planet Earth one. It came out in 2020 though, so we haven't seen it yet. Well, it's like, it's about like life on Earth or something. What made you want to watch it? Well, because it, we liked to see Spiracy, and then I figured since we like that, maybe this is easy. I don't know. Something to watch. Because my Netflix only recommends anime and K-drama. I couldn't find anything but anime. 
This is the spinach butter chicken roti with chickpeas, broccoli, and extra spinach, but with rice. Cause I don't know, I don't like wraps. Like anything in a kind of wrap, not for me. I prefer rice. I am super sleepy today. Actually, I've been super exhausted like the past week, basically ever since my period, but I am making kimchi jjigae for dinner tonight. Uh, super easy, just li like literally leftover kimchi with dashi stock, soy sauce, a little bit of sugar to spice it up, and rice and some hard boiled eggs on the side. So I got this um, white fungus. It's like pretty dried, dehydrated mushroom type thing. I don't know, I saw it at the Galleria Asian supermarket. I thought it looks delicious, and apparently. Like I saw a TikTok of it once. Don't remember what kind of recipe it was, but I know they poured soup over it. So I'm gonna pour my kimchi jjigae over it. And then I got my hard boiled eggs in a premium soy sauce that tastes amazing. This bowl is definitely way too small for this. But it's fun. It's kind of like those, those blossoming flower teas, but like the reverse version of it. I make sure I at least get some cabbage in there. And then I have tofu in here as well. Ooh, <laughs> pretty much fell out of my bowl. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's all I can fit for now. I also have some fresh white rice with furekake on it, so good. And then I freshly cut up some more Korean seaweed, because you guys know how I love to eat my rice with my seaweed. I feel like it's gonna be difficult to eat this giant mushroom. It's gonna be so difficult. Why did I do this to myself? It literally just tastes like a like as if you had like a seaweed salad. That's kind of the texture it has. Very like fresh seaweed-ish. It's nice. It's just really hard to eat it with chip chopsticks. In the no makeup, but the funniest thing <laughs> just happened. So Honey Boy comes up to me because he was making a dentist appointment for us, and he says he was um I was trying to I don't know why like looking up my name for making the appointment because apparently he can't spell my name but anyway he says what the heck is this and he has like he has this popping up on the search results um who is Broman Papano dating who is Broman Papano's boyfriend and this website this website was made in March 2021 so recently so it's called dating a celebs lol not not a slub but thank you i appreciate it like how is this the first on google i'm offended um so dating slubs who is brown and papano dating now 28 years old okay they got my name right great um everything's right he, we're laughing at net worth 100,000 to a million yeah how about we look at the potatoes in my purse like i am poor af Height unknown, this is easy information to find. It's all on my blog. Like I have a page dedicated to all of this. Ethnicity also on my website. Nationality, like why, why did like Canada, like just put it there. Weight also on my website. Hair color literally right here, right here. Eye color brown, like who, who made this? And then the best part is the best part is they bolded single like I you guys all know I've been living with honey boy for the past two years and and we've been together for almost three years like it just keeps going on about being single and how I'm not currently dating anyone like what is this this is the dumbest website anyway we just laughed pretty hard about that because it's very inaccurate and uh, my net worth definitely is non-existent. I have no assets, but that's super funny. If you guys ever want to know like stuff like that, my blog and website always is like the number one place to get that information. So if you ever Google anything about me, uh, if you want to know facts like my weight, like my ethnicity, like if I'm in a relationship, like it's always on my website, like always, always, always. Um, anyway, that was super, super funny, but I'm just sitting here working today. I'm actually making my newest 
preset launch for my website um, so those are the filters that I'm currently using on my Instagram that I'm obsessed with and you guys seem to be really liking them as well uh, the theme is called Korea mood because the inspiration behind this Instagram filter theme is like the aesthetic of like the light that shines into apartments in Korea uh, so that's that's what it is if you guys are interested in that sound of that or having your photos have that kind of mood i'll have the link to download the presets in the bio description box of this video so definitely check it out if you're interested it's all the filters i've been using on my instagram for the past like few weeks hello everyone so liz and i have come to a property today to view it for potential studio purposes so i'm gonna take you guys with me to have a little look see at what the vibe is it's really big so we've finished viewing that building and we think we found one that would be perfect for Liz for a studio so Fingers crossed that we move forward and she ends up getting it. I can't wait to help design whatever she ends up choosing and helping decorate and fix it up. Ooh, a lot of work, but it could be a project that you guys will see in the summer. Absolutely, you'll see in the summer. <laughs> We're gonna document every part of this. It's gonna be so much it's fun. It's gonna be such a project, but like, I just love DIY and stuff. You're the queen of DIY. Like I wouldn't want anyone else helping me. <laughs> I'm so excited. I literally watch like your YouTube videos whenever I need inspiration for like DIY really? stuff. Oh my god. I, I love like your DIY. vlogs with like the thing you did with your balcony. Oh my gosh, yeah, balcony stuff. Uh, there's always something to DIY. This is gonna be so exciting, mm -hmm. you guys. I can't wait. <laughs> 